up, everyone? I'm Katie Talbot. And I'm Jason Catrone. And we are the Vocal, Vocal Lab, Lab Collective. Collective. Cheers. You guys asked for it, so you're going to get it. All my Ariana Grande fans, lovers, for one thing, thank you for all the views and the comments on that video. It means so much to both of us. We love your comments. We actually read them. We look at them. We take them to heart, which is why we're doing this video today, because exactly. so many people love the last one. We're going to do more. All of y'all have heard her song, Positions. Yes. This is going to be kind of a completely different video as opposed to the last video, where I really showed you a little bit more technique of to help get your voice how to sing that song for your voice. Again, you're not supposed to sound like her. Your voice isn't hers. Yeah. You're just, so you're supposed to sound like you. Jason's supposed to sound like Jason, and I am supposed to sound like me. But I actually want to go over some style, some articulation. Check out this chorus in positions. Thing. We know Ariana Grande knows her voice so well, so she yes. knows that she does not have to prove herself in any way, nor do you, okay? But it's getting that confidence and understanding your voice and commanding your voice and letting your voice go to get to that point. Yes. She's gotten there and she's killing it. So, sh so she's really not fully singing here. Mm -hmm. She's floating on the melody. She's articulating her vowels and her consonants on the melody. And she's being selective of which consonant she hits. Very much And so. which word we actually audibly hear clearly. Yes. Uh, some of those words, she just kind of scooted through them, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's, there, that's an art form. Yes. That, that's, that is the painter taking the brush and being really skillful what they're doing. So it's cool. Notice that you hear bedroom and infinite more mm -hmm. than you hear Olympics. Okay. She floats through Olympics, but she's very articulate on in the bedroom. Bed She's yeah. almost making it more, you know, into that staccato and that beat. So, and it creates a cadence. It creates a almost a march through this part of the song. It's something you can start to feel. Singing is so abstract that you have these little moments where you can start to feel as you sing or speak mm -hmm. out the lyric. That becomes really cool and you get really comfortable with that. A hundred percent. And once you get comfortable with it, you can start to put different little spins at different times on it. And before you know it, wow, it's uniquely yours mm -hmm. all of a sudden. Exactly. So I want to show you my favorite exercise when it comes to articulation. It's keeping your voice very narrow. One thing I like to say to some of my artists and singers all over the world that we have is singing narrow is going to help keep your voice healthy for one thing, but it's, it's going to make the articulation, the higher notes easier. So on a new, with the duck face, okay, let's just do it. We're going to go, new, 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 it right ah. there so one thing that's really important is she has that breathy overtone to her voice that we love it makes you want more because she's not constantly like at you with a loud voice okay so switching up position for you cooking in the kitchen and i'm in the bedroom notice on the bedroom in the bedroom she's ah. making this completely Hers, okay? It's a different word. Exactly. A better room. Exactly. So this is something that I want you guys to take home with you because you could do this on a new, a ka, um, you know, something that's very articulate, coup. a coup when it comes to the, you know, hitting a consonant and releasing on the vowel. But this is something that I want you guys to take home and do at home, study with your voice. If you've not done a warm up, I want you to always make sure that you warm up your voice, okay? And then when it comes to the style and finding the textures, the colors, and the sound of your of your voice and your style, really dig into just allowing your voice to mess up and finding yeah, it. Yeah, mess up. It's really important. She is someone who is so 
confident in what she has to offer in her voice because she knows she mm. studied it. She's yeah. put the time in. Yeah. You guys need to do the same thing. We need to do the same thing continually. And she's just an amazing example of floating on the melody, articulating certain words a certain way to make it sound so enticing. All right. We love you guys. Until next time. I'm Jason. I'm Katie. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.